Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? It's the CERN. We should be concerned about the CERN. As they begin the cranking up of this 27 kilometer long underground tunnel, this tube, this beam, as protons are sent at the almost the speed of light to collide. What is it that scientists gathered in the CERN there in just outside of Geneva, Switzerland, along the Switzerland-French border? What is it they're trying to accomplish? I know they want to pull matter out of dark matter. They want to extract the God particles, they call it. But listen to very closely to what they announced they're trying to do. I found this uh, concerning to say the least. We are really excited because we are entering a new phase of the LHC after two years of uh, heavy maintenance, heavy improvement of the whole accelerator chain of the whole infrastructure. And to restart the LHC now at a new energy, at a higher energy, which opens hopefully new windows, uh, depending on the kindness of nature, of course. Wait a minute. Cranking this up at higher levels, higher energy, hoping to open new windows as nature, of course, would allow them to. Now, wait a minute here. What windows are they trying to open? Well, it's, it's not an exaggeration, folks. They are trying to open a, a dimensional portal. Some would say, literally, the gates of hell. Obviously, when you're trying to create matter out of antimatter, when you're trying to extract uh, in, into dimensions that we've never been before, you're dangerously teetering on the very creation itself. God spoke this world into existence and said, let there be light, and there was light, and he pulled the light right out of the darkness. Satan lives in the dimension of dark matter. He is the prince of the power of the air. You cannot see him with the naked eye. You can see him in a spiritual sense, in a spiritual revelation, but you can't see him in the naked eye because he doesn't live in the matter. He lives in the antimatter, or as I like to call it, dark matter. The CERN is trying to break through that dimension. Let's listen again, and also another update as well from the CERN. We are really excited because we are entering a new phase of the LHC after two years of uh, heavy maintenance, heavy improvement of the whole accelerator chain of the whole infrastructure. And to restart the LHC now at a new energy, at a higher energy, which opens hopefully new windows, uh, depending on the kindness of nature, of course. We are excited. There's still so many open questions, and so, for example, what is all of the dark, uh, the dark universe? What is the dark matter that we see uh, out there in the universe? We know it. Very notice here. They're very curious of what is in the dark universe. What is in the dark matter? You have to understand. There has been many, many different reports of satanic, occultish type activity that goes on in and around the CERN. Now, we know that one airplane also crashed in the Swiss Alps, in the French Alps, less than 200 miles from where the CERN was actually firing up that day. Some folks say that has nothing to do with what happened, but we know we're hearing from different scientists that the CERN has the ability to manipulate some of the uh, consciousness of the brain and maybe to even alter people's rationale and behaviors. We're not sure about that. But anytime you open a portal, when you get near the gates of damnation and you try to climb into a, a dimension or a dark universe, well, dark things will happen. Now, I'm glad to tell you, as a Christian, I have no fear about this because Jesus specifically told me that the gates of hell shall not re prevail against the church. But how does this affect humanity as a whole? Millions of people, multiple billions of people don't have Jesus in their heart and have no spiritual protection from the things that could develop from the CERN. 
there's still so many open questions. And so, for example, what is all of the dark, uh, the dark universe? What is the dark matter that we see uh, out there in the universe? We know it has to be there. Can we create it and study it in the laboratory? This is going to be one of the big challenges for this this uh, coming run, and indeed for the rest of the LHC program to to look for that and other things which may be there. So we're really uh, trying to be as open as possible. We'll we'll take the data, the the results will start to come, uh, will start to flow in the summer. But then there'll be many more results by the end of the year and later. When we get the next, the first uh, big discovery, the next big discovery, we just don't know at this stage. We will see what nature has in store for us. Well, it's not what nature has in store for you. You go open in Pandora's box, and you may not like what comes out. You go playing in the in the den of the devils, and you're bound to reach damnation's door. I'm telling you now that uh, the prince of the power of the air, the legions of demons that surround themselves around Lucifer, are more than waiting for you to enter into their dark domain of destruction. I don't know about you, but... Uh, the children of the light don't want to play in the dark, and we're we're set free. We've been saved, but now you know you're in the last days. When you you hear about the one world religion, there's no question. There are people who are actually trying to set up a one world religion. In other words, what they're saying is this: they're doing away with Jesus Christ. They don't want to go through the door into the light, which is Jesus Christ. They don't want to go to him. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No, no man comes to the Father but by me. And except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. But here, listen to what I'm telling you. A one world religion is saying they can take uh, uh, Catholicism, uh, Judaism, Christianity, Sikhism, Hinduism, Buddhist, Maoist, Taoist, uh, um, Islam, uh, and many, 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 many more other uh, paganistic worship, even uh, New Age, uh, crystal ball type worship, and they're saying it don't matter, we're all going to come under one world religion. That's what the Antichrist is trying to do. That's what the devils of hell is trying to do. It is a very deceptive thing, and there is even some uh, in the Christian world, who are literally luring people into this darkness. There's some that are even probably in the process of organizing it. There's no question. The Bible says in the last day there'll be a great falling away. So while scientists and occultists uh, go to the gates of hell to play, there are many others who are being uh, literally drawn away by the deception of the devil. I'm here to preach to you one way. Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And the only pulling together is a unity of Christ. No other de, uh, religion can be a part of this. You, you, but there's many denominations of Jesus Christ. We have to pull together as one body. We need to be in the spirit of unity and the bond of peace. And that comes through Jesus Christ. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time. I am concerned about the surge.